Welcome to lesson four of using gizmos for visual debugging in Unity. In this lesson, what we're going to do is looking at look at more practical uses of um, using rays and, and lines in the gizmos class to actually help us debug things like direction and position. All right, so we can look at how our vectors, when we're doing different types of vector math, how that all, all actually works um, with or in conjunction with um, lines and rays using the gizmos, okay? And that's why I have these two um, vectors over here. This will allow us to visually see how the gizmos are working, okay? So let's jump over into our script over here. All right, and I'm actually gonna turn on the cubes because I like the cubes better than spheres. All right, that's just a preference, really. All right, so what I wanna do is I actually want to start by just displaying the object's forward direction and its right direction and its up direction. And I, I want to use these lines or rays, right, to indicate that direction. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're first going to set our gizmo color, all right, to equal color dot blue because what we're going to do is display the forward direction or the z-axis of our particular object using a gizmo. Alrighty, so then I'm going to say gizmos <clears throat> dot draw ray. All right, and you can see that this has two overrides. It's either expecting a ray or a from position and a direction. Okay, so we're going to use that one because we haven't built any rays and that's kind of out of the scope of this particular course. So I'm just going to use the more simple version of the gizmos.drawArray method. Okay, so the from position is going to be our center of the object, so transform.position. And then our actual direction is going to be our transforms. Whoops, we need transform. Let's just type it out. Dot, I'll do it myself. I hate it when monodevelop does that. Transform, there we go. Dot transform direction. And we're going to do vector three dot forward. All right. So if you aren't familiar with the transform dot transform direction, I would definitely recommend watching some of our um, intro to controllers for Unity, um, as that goes into more detail about how um, to build up vectors to create motion for your characters and for all your controllers. Okay. So let's just do that. We're going to say transform dot transform direction and get that forward direction and we'll make it blue. Okay. So we'll save that and we'll come back into Unity over here. These should all switch over to cubes. And what we'll get is a blue line that is sticking out the front or in the Z axis of our particular object. So if I rotate my object, I can always view my forward direction if I don't have the actual if I'm not transforming it. So when you hit W on the keyboard, you can actually see the directions, but if I'm in rotate mode, then that's kind of hard to see. And if I don't have it selected at all, I still want to be able to see how this particular object is oriented. All right, cool. So what we can do now is actually build out the other one. So I want to build out the, the X axis and the Y axis, okay? So let's do that. So I'm going to do another gizmos.color equals color dot red. This is going to be the right direction or the x axis. So we're going to say draw ray equals, whoops, sorry, transform dot position and then transform dot transform direction vector three dot right. There we go. And we want to do the up direction. So gizmos.color is equal to color.green. All right, because we're it's the y-axis and it's usually colored green in most applications. Draw array. We'll do transform.position and transform.transform direction. And this time we want to do vector three dot up. There we go. All right, so let's take a look now. Let it compile, and there you go. So now we actually have the direction vectors that this particular object is facing. So when I rotate it, you can see that I'm getting all of the 
particular directions displayed to us. So that's really cool. Really useful for um, debugging scripts. So when this object is moving around, we can actually see which direction it's moving without having to select it and look at the values over here, which is would be really tough to actually decipher. OK, so that's using the rays. So let's actually take a look at the lines now. All righty, so we're going to go into our script again. And now what I want to do is actually create another set of layered gizmos. I'm going to draw, draw two spheres that's half the size of this gizmo size value. And we are going to use position A and position B as those, those positions, OK? So now let's uh, look into uh, lines. So this one was look into rays. And these were the basics. All right, so for lines, what I want to do is say gizmos.color is equal to color.yellow. And I'm just picking that arbitrarily. Just another color because I haven't used it yet, basically. And I'm going to say gizmos.drawsphere. All right, and we're going to put it at pause A. That's the position it's going to be at. And the radius is going to be half that gizmo size over here. Let's get that. And we're just going to do times 0.5. All right. And let's set up the other position as well. So we get position B. All right. Let's go back in the Unity over here. All right. So you notice that all the particular objects over here now have their yellow spheres. So if I were to select one of these guys and start to move, oops the positions of these guys, you'll notice that I'm now moving those spheres. So this is independent of the actual position of the object because these vectors are storing those positions, these vectors that we have in our editor over here. All right, so just another way to allow you to start to debug other values in your script that you're having to compute, just so you can start to see how your code is working in a visual way. All right, so then let's draw a line between those two. So I am going to say gizmos, whoops, dot color is equal to gizmo line color. So we'll use that same line color. Then we're going to say gizmos dot draw line. All right, from pause position A to position B. Simple, super simple. All right, so I'm going to jump over here into Unity, and you'll see a line that is white, in this case, drawn between those two points. And as I move any one of those, we're drawing a line between those two positions. So super slick, super sweet. And that is basically how you utilize rays and lines and start to create more complex uh, gizmo drawing uh, for your scenes and your debugging. Thanks so much.